Church, it's time to act. In 1967, members of Parliament voted for the Abortion Act. No one at that time knew how many lives would be lost in the coming years, over 10 million and counting. Right now, we are on the precipice of another vote, which could be just as damaging for generations to come. In the next few weeks, MPs will vote on plans to legalise assisted suicide. It's been rejected, this legislation, many times before. But the challenge today, the challenge right now, is greater than ever before. It's crucial that we, the church, stand up for life and we stand against assisted suicide. You know, we know that we do not have the right to take innocent human life. Assisted suicide is not remotely compassionate. It would lead to many who do not know Jesus to spend eternity without him. It would send the terrible message that suicide is somehow the right response to vulnerability, pain and suffering. And many, many people in those situations, many people would feel sadly pressured into it. This has happened consistently in other countries and there's no reason to think that it would not happen here or be any different here. Good law protects life. As Christians, we are to love God and we are to love our neighbour and we are called to protect the vulnerable. So this is our moment to act. If we do not speak now, lives will be lost and generations to come will suffer. Please stand with us today. Do so by going to speak with your MP face to face if you can and let him or her know that assisted suicide would be a most terrible and grave mistake. Pray with us today that God would once again spare us, that he would show mercy to us once more.